okay um i love this animation but guess what i am stuck at boot loop so let's not worry about it if you are in the same state let's not worry about it i waited for about 10 minutes now so yeah wait for 10 minutes don't do anything before 10 minutes and now let me show you what i'm doing just unplug it and did you see this bag i'm loving this bag this is not the the stock uh, cover that i have this is actually far better cover that i have hee <laughs> hee anyway okay having said that um okay i don't have nails yeah, take it off and here is my mobile phone and see okay let me put it back in like so and yeah about the music in the background i am really liking it i downloaded it from a video and i'm going to start my phone again hmm bismillah rahman rahim yeah let's see <laughs> yeah, i get tend to get religious when it comes to things i love It will start this time. I am so sure. Start, phone, start, start, start. What am I supposed to do now? <sighs> uh, it will start, it will start, don't worry. I reboot my phone into recovery uh, because I was stuck at boot loop. Now this is what I did. I went to, if you can see there is no error, right? Now this is what I did. I went to advance. I did wipe delvic cache and yeah that is just what i did and then i wipe cache partition and then i did a wipe data reset and then i reboot into recovery now when i did that i will do that again i'm not getting any error in my recovery one more thing i have removed the sd card right now so I just need to reboot the system. By the way, I had a hands-on experience on HTC Desire HD yesterday. It was alright. I mean, it was with somebody I knew. Um, as in, I li I liked the phone, but it was so in stock mode. <laughs> like, ah, uh, so much needs to be done to that phone. I really liked it, but I think I am going to stick to Samsung for long. I like Samsung more. Sorry, HTC.
Okay, honestly, this had never happened to me. Uh, my SD card is in and I still have no error on my clockwork mod recovery now and I, I am thinking to install cyanogen mod again let's see what happens mm -hmm. it generally starts the first time I actually let it go for like half an hour <laughs> I had my lunch and then I started the phone and it did but let's see what happens now I just want to um, just tell you guys you don't need to panic when such things happen because the simplest way if anything like this happens simplest way is you know you can flash through Odin you can go back to gingerbread of Froyo so you can easily do that so don't really uh, you know panic these are custom ROMs and only developers make it so you know it's not official so you shouldn't really worry about those things all right let me reboot it rebooting Ah, yes, 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 it started. Okay, so what I did, I am just going to really recap it um, quickly. I installed CM7 again. That is what I, first of all, when I did my first installation, I was stuck at boot loop. I, you know, I took the battery off and put it back in. It didn't start. Then I booted my phone in recovery mode. I went into the advanced mode. I cleared the Dalvik cache and wiped the uh, data and reset and cache and everything and then I restarted my phone I was still stuck at boot loop then what I did I rebooted to my recovery mode and I reinstalled CM7 and it started this time so don't worry okay so it will start it will work and it just did now the reason uh, my only one and only reason first of all let me just this is actually cyanogen mod that you get. Uh, it has a built-in it has built-in ADW launcher as a stock launcher. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn off my turn off my 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 data because I'm going to spend lots of money. Okay. This you don't want your phone to be like this because at this point it does not have Google integrated. In it so you know there is no backup that you already created on your Google account and nothing like that so I just want to show you how to get that so I would go to the recovery mode again and it I can go it from here as well if I do reboot and I do reboot into recovery and I do that there is a file in the description called gapps uh, for gingerbread and that is what I'm going to install now it's actually a flashable now now I go to install from zip I'm gonna choose from zip card and do this gf gb this is this file I'm gonna install it it's installing and it's done and I don't need to wipe anything I just need to reboot my system really nice is about to happen you would like it I'm sure
the phone vibrates it tells you it's about to start and it's dead okay I'm gonna knock it this is my account setup yes see <laughs> we never got this before okay I need to touch the Android to start I need to sync to my Google account let me just sign in and let me just do it like this off the screen because I don't want to <laughs> do it on screen sorry guys it's personal okay add we need to put you up and my password it's not that I type slow it's that I have a lengthy password and it's very twisted okay okay it's signing in How will it connect to the server if I am not? Okay, let me just uh, skip this step. Skip. Next. Um, the reason I'm skipping this step is because I don't want to show this step. You can just you know do that by yourself. It's the same thing that we are doing previously. I just want to set the date. Today is 13th. I am in GMT plus five zone. GMT plus five is GMT plus five. Yes, that is it. Yeah, we connect to a Wi Fi network, which is my home network. My password is. Okay, I'm connected. Next, say I'm done. Okay, I'm on my um, I'm on my Cyanogen mod now. I just need no. The the reason I just installed Google Apps because we don't have any Google application installed, and then you won't be able to sync your account to your Google account otherwise. So you need to do that. So this was the basic of installing Cyanogen Mod 7 on your Galaxy Mini. My upcoming videos will be about what I am going to do with it. Uh, the next video will be about certain fixes that need to be done to this, um, this custom ROM. So let me just do that and okay then I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching and holding on actually. Thank you for that. Bye-bye.